Good morning, folks. Today we've got a huge story on Earth's core. We'll take a trip out to Mars, see some climate data that would be funny if it weren't so misused, and of course, the last 24 hours on our star where things are getting interesting. Took a few solar flares, there was a minor filament instability, but the big story is the fast-growing sunspot, which is now of major size and magnetic complexity. Central coronal hole turning through with the bigger one incoming on the north, top left there. The most relevant solar flare of the last day happened early this morning when the Southern Incoming Group released a mid-range M-Class flare. We're going to watch the entire life of that sunspot here because the rapid growth is incredible. From nothing to the biggest sunspot on our star in about three days. Of course, now it's also begun its flaring sequence. It will be directly facing Earth tonight and through the weekend, so it will be my primary watch zone on our star here. And when we take a look at how it's now large umbra and magnetic character via the SDO magnetogram are mixing together, we can see it has a solid gamma classification as the polarities are jumbled up. And where they are close to interacting, it's developing delta class regions which can make even bigger flares. All eyes on it from a space weather perspective at this moment. The largest four earthquakes of the last 24 hours were all grouped together there in a swarm in the southern mid-Atlantic ridge. A collective hope that region calms down quickly. We've got the May climate update. First in the USA, these were the maximum temperature marks compared to average, not so much red. But when we come to how much the temperature dropped at night, once again folks, the warming marks are being set by it not getting as cold at night, not record daily blistering heat. At the global scale, as with every single month, here's what they're showing the world, the qualitative data. But when we go to the actual numbers, the quantitative data shows far less deep red, far more blue to deep blue, and some of these blue areas, actually below average, showed up as red on the first one, the one the world sees. Very cool article from JPL on the Mars rover's track through the ancient river on the red planet. The most incredible thing to me is the water-driven sand pattern, which looks exactly like what Jimmy Corsetti shows in Africa as being evidence of a flood. Would have been so cool to see what Mars looked like when it had that much water. And last but not least, folks, the follow-up, the confirmation. Earth's core is slowing down. Now, there was a ton of confusion on this story when the initial science came out about a year or two ago. We'll go over that in a special video soon, but for now... A major slowdown of our planetary interior is unfolding, and it's happening much faster than anyone could have imagined. It began just 14 years ago in 2010. Folks, tomorrow afternoon, the latest issue of Observer Review will come out. Some of the best articles yet. Bailey and I are just putting finishing touches on it now. It is the number one way to support the observers, but more importantly, it's your number one way to keep up with all of the most important science that comes out every month. Link is down below to sign up. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the sunspots. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.